What up, Beer and Sunshine friends? It's your pal, Tommy Thompson from Beer and Sunshine at Big Top Brewing Company in Sarasota, Florida for another exciting episode. And today we have some really fun guests. Uh, we've got some guys here from Naughty Monk, my pal Curtis, my buddy Tyler, and obviously two very lovely ladies. We've got Susie Bennett, who's actually part of the uh, USF program that we're heavily involved with here, our brewmaster, General Wilson. All praise General Wilson. Uh, he's, uh, he's a good friend of his, one of his uh, favorite students. You can see why. And then we have the lovely Nikki Goldsmith. And uh, we're going to have some fun times here today, folks. We've got some really good beer to try. I'm very excited about this. Uh, not just the delicious beers that we have here at Big Top Brewing Company, but of course, our pals have brought us some Naughty Monk brews. And then, one of our favorite uh, guests and favorite customers here at Big Top Brewing Company in Sarasota, Kevin, brought us some beers from Three Floyds in Indiana. Those guys are famous for the beers that they make. We've got some Dark Lord, uh, some Yum Yum, and uh, I forget the third one, but uh, we break it out. Well, uh, you know, we'll read the label, something like that. But uh, thanks for being here, guys. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thanks, for having, thanks us. for having us. Thanks. Yes. And what is everyone drinking here? That's my favorite thing to know. Yeah. Ashley Absolutely. Gang. Also Ashley Gang. Also Ashley Gang. Oh. No, I'm I'm the ringmaster Berliner all the way. Weakness. Always. I know. I know. I'll never no, get drunk off of that. Ringmaster is the most <laughs> delicious. <laughs> like, I love it. Yeah. Three percent, but it's so delicious. I know. I have to bring like the yeah. pen. I got the peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where you at? Where you at? If you guys, yeah, if you guys uh, are local, if you, anybody sees this and, and you're a big top fan, but you haven't had the peanut butter and jelly here, you thought that sounds disgusting. It's not. It's really good. It's like a pale ale, and, and I'm a, I'm a hop head usually. It's really good. So easy drinking, good stuff. Really good stuff. And so so Tyler, you're a. Uh, the sales rep. You're, you're, you're the front end of the business, huh? You're um, making it I try. Happen. I try to be. <laughs> yeah, I, I do all the uh, outside sales and stuff for bars and restaurants around town. Um, try to, and I help with the inside. You know, I help out with uh, whatever the guys need in the back. Try to keep up with the trends on the market. Keep up with different beers and what's coming up next. And try to make sure that uh, you know the beers are are moving moving out to you guys to the consumers in order to. Uh, around to be around town as well so and you do a lot of competitive yeah, so. research here you research competition pretty heavily because i know you spend a good bit of time here at big top uh no i don't uh joe and diane <laughs> <laughs> no I, I definitely like uh i've been in the beer scene for a long time i've, I've uh been down here you know about 10 years now so you probably been in the you, beer scene. you live close to here yeah yeah, yeah. i'm right around the corner okay. so. well, that, that makes sense yeah I, and uh, curtis you're a brewer there yes are you the brew master head brewer head brewer yeah ladies Ladies, uh, I, I, I hope all of our fans at Beer and Sunshine will, will get to know you over time. I hope you'll come back for more abuse. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Most likely. Most likely. That's not okay. abuse. This is, this is more fun. I, mean, I was going to say, if there's beer. You get beer. Yeah. 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 Beer. Free beer, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my, my favorite beer is free. Yeah. 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 Mine too. Mine too. Cheers to that, everybody. Cheers. 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 Yes. Yes. Cheers. Clink, clink, clink. I like the sound of that. I'm really curious, actually. Um, Lakewood Ranch is kind of a different area. And what made you guys, I don't know uh, too much about the owners, but what makes you kind of think about, like, okay, Lakewood Ranch, that's a great place to open a brewery? Yeah, uh, that was kind of uh, their mindset, I believe, when they were researching where to go. They were looking in um, Palmetto as well. And uh, when they found out about Lakewood Ranch and the new, all the new development that's going up out there, they were like, you know, the, all these new houses and everything that's going up uh, east of the interstate and stuff, they're like, if we can get our foot in the door down there, we definitely have uh, customers coming in for a long time. And, you know, it's constantly being built up. We have a huge industrial park right next to us where a bunch of guys have already come in and they haven't even opened their doors yet. Who are the owners of Naughty Monk? Joe and Diana. Joe and Diana. There's two couples, Joe and Diana, and there's also uh, Eric and Judy. And uh, so how did did you guys get started? Were, were those guys home brewers? Yeah, or? Joe and Diana were uh, good customers of mine. This is how actually I got I got my job. They were good customers of mine at World of Beer down here. Rest in peace. They when they were going through the process of uh, drinking all the different beers at World of Beer, they really enjoyed doing it so much, drinking so much. They're like, why don't we make our own? Let's try to do this on our own. So uh, they started started experimenting at home, home brewing and stuff, and started bringing it in, uh, giving it to their friends, and they were like, you know. They, they, we might be onto something here, and decided, you know, they, they met up with Eric and Judy Keller and ended up uh, uh, getting a business plan rolling, and here we are, uh, 
what is it, five years later. Here we are, been op doors open almost two years now. Cool. Um, got our anniversary party coming up in November. The Naughty Monk, the character, where did the name <laughs> come from? How did you guys go, what is, he, what is Naughty Monk? I was trying to figure this out the past few days, like, what does Naughty Monk mean? What is the idea of the character? Where is it? How is that? Where did that inspiration come from? World um, of beer. So this is my understanding. Oh, it was over, <laughs> over, over. Really? Yeah, it was at World of Beer. It was over a few beers, and my understanding was that Diana was drinking uh, Belgian style, you know, beer from Belgium with the monk on on the label. And you know, after a few of those little nine, ten percenters, you start feeling a little, little good. She goes, wait, look, look, she's like, look at, look at that, look at that monk on. He looks so naughty. He, and they're like, Naughty Monk. And it, like a light bulb moment went off in their head and then Naughty Monk was born. What are you guys known for? What type of beer or what are your, what is your, like here at Big Top, mm -hmm. Circus City is our flagship beer. That's mm -hmm. our IPA. Um, and then, you know, we have some others that you, know, you can find around uh, town or whatever, but um, Circus City is like our, that's how people know us, mm -hmm. you know. You want to take this one, Curtis? Well, uh, as the, the name implies, we're a Belgian-inspired brewery, and so a lot of our Belgian beers, you know, it, it's it's what people come for, you know. Yeah. But uh, our Naughty Blonde is a Belgian blonde, and you can pretty much any restaurant that serves Naughty Monk is going to have a, a Naughty Blonde in there. And and so that's, that's a good, that's a really good beer. It's our number one seller. Yeah. That's, that, that, would be, that would be like our flagship, I would say. That's our staple is the Naughty Blonde. So. We're not allowed to use this in marketing material, but the Naughty Blonde made it to the final table of GABF last year. Oh. So it was there with the last six beers. Great American Beer Festival? Great American Beer Festival, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it was, it, was on, it was on the last table, meaning that it made it through all the previous rounds and was ready to be picked amongst the last six. So that's cool. kind of some accolades, I guess, but we're not Fair allowed enough. to market no. that. But. Well, yeah. yeah, especially being open for such a short time as well to do something that probably should be that yeah. We've resubmitted it this year, so hopefully. So hopefully this year hopefully it'll this go year. past the six. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Curtis, what, uh, how did you get into brewing beer? I actually started with, uh, there's a website called thinkgeek.com. Called what? Think Geek. I used to be a software developer, and so I'd buy geeky toys like USB missile launchers and stuff like that. And I bought so many of these random toys that they gave me some bonus points. And one of the things was a uh, spike your juice. It was five bucks, and it came with a little kit that you put into any of your favorite fruit juice. Wait 48 hours, and you've got alcohol. That sounds cool. So I either believe you or I believe you were in jail and you figured out how to make <laughs> same thing. Hooch. Apple. It was hooch. Yeah. So I went to Walmart and looked at the different apple juices and found the one that had the most sugar in it. It was essentially a champagne yeast package uh -huh. and an airlock. And I brought the juice home, put the package in, let it sit. I had hard apple cider in a couple days. This is easy. <laughs> Why haven't I been doing this my whole life? Like I can right, make right, hard right. apple cider in my my underneath my kitchen sink. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why don't I do this all the time? So I started experimenting with different juices. You know, I made a wine. It wasn't anything that you'd put in a bottle, but yeah. it got you drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It did yeah. the job. Yeah, as Samuel Jackson would say, it'll get you drunk. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that So I, I started experimenting and said, what else can I brew? And started brewing beer. Uh, people started buying the beer from me, you know, paying me to brew a case of beer at a time, and which is highly illegal, I believe. But no, they so they they were buying the supplies, so they would buy all the ingredients and all the bottles and donate that to me, and I would fill them with beer at the end and give them back. Yeah. Well, well, they might be. I've broken a lot of laws over the years, a lot. So it's just undocumented. Yeah. Undocumented beer. It's not illegal. Now, Susie, Susie, I feel like if anybody should be asking questions of Curtis, it's you because you just completed the brewmaster program at USF. Is that correct? No, not a brewmaster program, but I did take some beef beer uh, courses. All right, I'm, not, bit about I'm not saying this. I'm not <laughs> totally speaking out of turn. There is a brewmaster program, right? Um, I believe the St. Pete campus has a brew, brewing some kind of brewing certificate, I believe. I guess but you can't believe soda. anything I say. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can say stuff. Yeah, we know we have um, classes at the USF Sarasota campus that work on the um, the chemistry and the microbiology of beer. 
and so looking at the yeast and how that but you turns brew, it. Right? You brew. I have tried at home unsuccessfully, but I have tried. What does unsuccessfully look like? How do you unsuccessfully uh, brew beer? <laughs> could you I drink don't it? No, it just, it just didn't. <laughs> could you drink it? I did not. Oh. I, I really? tasted it and I was like, no, something went wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Any of your friends drink it? No. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't want to poison anybody. Did you feed it to the dog? Did you feed it to the dog? Somebody, what a so way. Much, yeah. I'm going to try again. But. Wow, okay. What's your involvement with the whole core fermentation lab and stuff like that as, as a, uh, a, a biologist? Or yeah. You biologist. graduated the biology degree from USF recently, and, and you come here all the time. <laughs> For the class, we came through, and we did a lot of tours with the local breweries. Um, and then when I was taking the course, we ended up having um, a brewery that was assigned to us that we made a particular beer for. Okay. So I partnered up with Calusa, and we made a uh, sour stop sour beer um, with them. But we do at the the CF um, the CIL over uh -huh. in Lakewood Ranch. We do brew certain beers. What for is the, the CIL? Like, what um, the culinary. Is that the one on Main Street? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think so. Main Street downtown, like right yeah, They brew there, and they'll have different things for the events when they have uh, the cooking classes and things like that. But, so, brewing beer, but not on my own. We have, like, the Brewer for a Day thing contest. But if you, even if you don't win that thing, if you just harass Johnny, <laughs> you give him <laughs> ideas. Yeah, you just make beers. Yeah. Come in yeah. one Friday, and it's like, make beers, whatever. <laughs> Curtis, what's your, what's your favorite type of beer to brew? Do you have a, you have a favorite, or do you just... Enjoy the process and like you know the creativity involved in brewing whatever. I like being creative. Yeah, I mean it. It's I got beer dripping from my beard here. Uh, <laughs> it's just challenging. Yeah, to try to find something new. So as a home brewer, I mean I was constantly doing weird things. You know, like let's see if I can make a, a strawberry cream ale. How do I do that? that uh, good. Let's do orange cream sickle. Did you do orange. That? Did you yeah. Do a strawberry cream ale? Yeah, and I learned that you don't want to. Uh, blend the fruit first and then pasteurize it because then it ends up being bitter strawberry you know just trial and error stuff uh -huh. like yeah, that sure, but sure. but you know I tried an orange cream ale just random things and and that's the fun part of brewing is yeah. experimenting yeah. you know it, it's it is science and science is experimentation measurement reprodu re reproduction right. so can I can I redo it can I make it better when, what can I change? What's the process? You know, all that stuff. And when so. something goes horribly wrong, do you feel like you're responsible to consume that disaster? Like, yes. Do you have to? Is it, is it like, I, the way I see it is, if somebody doesn't finish a beer, like, you know how when you have a party and you're going around, you're cleaning up, and you find three quarter of the way filled oh, cans yeah. of bottle of beer? Oh, no, you just take like, one glass yeah. and you go, but who did this? Who did this? Who left this completely full beer? They cracked it and you drink it like I no one ever wanted them to come to my house again. You know what I mean? They're not invited back to the party. Most of my screw ups in my mind are still drinkable. Yeah. People still drink them. Uh, guys, it's that time again. Satchel's last resort is here with another beautiful puppy. So if we can just take a second here. I'm not tethered by a microphone. Yeah. So I can Hi buddy. Hello. This is smiling. Smiling? Hi. Is that okay with Scott Smiley? Hi. Oh! Good puppy. Hi, bud. What are you doing? This is Smiley. He's up for adoption. adoption. Satchel last resort here in Sarasota. Absolutely. He's yeah. about five, six years old. Oh, he's sweet so as pie. Yeah. Sweet as pie. He loves people, loves kids. <laughs> Gorgeous. Likes being picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. He's okay with it. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah. That's what he I mean, it would be a cool episode if I get a viciously attacked and have my face torn off by a dog. I mean, it it would go viral. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It would go viral. <laughs> I, mean, I just got to have my face licked off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They've been bringing dogs by uh, pretty much every week when you know when we're here, when we're in town and stuff like that. But So what do you guys got coming up here uh, in the near future at Naughty Mock as far as events and, and, and that sort of we have a one-year anniversary that's going to be soon. Yeah, one-year anniversary should be in November. Um, we're still tentative on the dates, but it'll be one of the first Saturdays, first couple Saturdays in November. Oh, so sorry, second year. Second, second year, year anniversary. Yeah, second yes. year anniversary. Yes, yes, this is so two years This will now. be our two-year anniversary. We're, we're just starting to get some details on that. Um, I know there's a couple different Jeep events coming. I don't know the dates. You guys currently. do Jeep stuff a lot? Yes, yeah. yeah. Because Susan is our marketing person, yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. part of the... Uh, Sarasota Jeep Club. Yeah, she, yeah. she loves, we love putting on Jeep she's rallies, super, poker runs. She's super cool, isn't she? She's like, awesome. Super cool. Yeah, she's, I can she's tell. Awesome. Like, I, I interacted with her for a few minutes the other day, and she's 
she seems pretty awesome. She does, she does a lot for us. Like, I want to hang out and drink beers. Um, we do, um, I know this is a little far away, but it's a, a nice one to, to try to plug in here, is we're going to be doing a bus trip up to the Bucks game for versus the Saints, and I believe that's sometime in December. 19th? So, December 19th? 18th or 19th, yeah. 9th or 19th? Yeah. Okay, I don't Something know that. Like I don't that. know the schedule yet. Yeah. It's in December. Yeah, if you so. look, if you go out of our bathroom on the door, <laughs> yeah. there's a little flyer that <laughs> says Bucks know. game. Yeah. Yeah. It's all over our Facebook yeah. page as well. I think we have an event uh, event set up for it. Um, and then you're also going to be calling. Um, I think you're going to be emailing Susan and also the uh, one of the marketing uh, sales reps from the Bucks that is going to help us put it together. Info at Boom. There it is. That's what I was going to say. Info at NaughtyMonkBrewery.com. Yes. That's a good one. Does that be like ongoing weekly events or? Or is that kind of like, you know, anything that you... Um, we have we have different specials and stuff. So we do the two for Tuesday. Tonight's a two for Tuesday where Curtis and Susan pick five different beers to be... Four uh, or five, depends. Yeah, four or five to be um, two, two for one, and all of our beers are $6. And then everything else besides those five are two for nine uh, on Tuesdays as well. So Tuesdays is a really good day to get there. We have music on um, every other Thursday. We every have uh, Thursday, open mic open night. Mic. Yep. When? When? Every other Thursday, we do open mic night. What is that like? Um, we have comedy? a guy. We, no, we have, anything. Uh, it's it's for, open. It's yeah. It's for it's for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> a true, a real, a real open mic night. So <laughs> we have a guy come in, set up, he's in place for a little bit, and different local artists and and uh, you know just someone who wants to jam out for a minute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, come out and hang out and do all that Friday. I can show up with some pickle buckets and some drumsticks and go to town. <laughs> we we have yeah. some uh, cigar box banjos. Yeah, you if you want to pull them off the wall, you can. Yeah. Like the sound of that. <laughs> uh, another thing that we do, we do food trucks now on the weekends. So um, we finally got that approved. Yep, we're we're able to do food trucks, and not a lot of people know that. Um, a lot of people that used to come in there looking for food or calling up wondering where the food trucks are. We now do food trucks on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm really uh, dying to try your beer. To tell us what we're what we're drinking. Is that all right? This is our real naughty. Yeah, might as well. Let, let's ruin our palates first, since you guys have been drinking Ashley like, Gang. No, I'm okay. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah, so. we'll, we'll start with our, our naughty, our naughty log. Your palates are already screwed up, so you're yeah. good. Over the past month, I've been working on our labels, um, yeah. and I was, well, I have three out of the five approved. I submitted the last two for the last time today. So um, five different labels. Um, the three beers that we're going to be trying here are three of the beers that we're going to be canning of the five. Awesome. The other two are the um, Lil Naughty, which is a, a really light, uh, basically the blonde's little sister. We'll see the blonde here in a minute. And then um, our, then we did a limited release one, so we can can a bunch of different beers that we have little one-offs and everything and screw-ups that he does, you know, yeah. and, and can them as whatever. You know? Limited release. Limited release. Some, some, of, my release. Screw ups, yeah. some of my screw ups are one of the highest so many, rated yeah, beers. Yeah, some I of mean, your screw ups are excellent. More fun than an effing barrel of monks is That's one of our beer. highest yeah. rated beers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right right now we've got the Fit IPA. Yeah. Which for some reason people like. Yeah. But Fit stands for F It. <laughs> I, I was going to make one beer and it kind of got stopped and stuck and I couldn't finish it. I said, F it, let's just throw some other hops in there. It's like my life this, this, <laughs> this, and that. And it's an IPA. So this is our uh, Naughty Lager. It's an American light lager. Comes in about 4% alcohol by volume. Um, one of my favorites. It's easy drinking stuff. Huh? It's better than Budweiser. <laughs> if you're a Budweiser drinker, Bud Light. There's no rice, there's no corn, there's no adjuncts. It's all malt. Nice. Oh, that's smooth, yeah. yeah it's I super smooth, right? I can't wait till we can start canning oh, this one. Oh, that would be very dangerous. Yeah. yeah, what is the percentage you said? About 4%. 4%? So I'm from yeah, Utah, where yeah. Utah, if you want right. to put it in a keg, it has right. to be under 4%. <laughs> oh. So I've gotten really good at brewing 4% beers. But, uh, Tyler, what about you? Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. So um, Toledo, Ohio. Originally grew grew up there. Um, fun fact: I was born in Germany. Military dad, um, my dad's in the military, but um, I knew Ohio from the time I was like one. You know, so I came you, back pretty did you quickly. Did you move a lot as a kid as in the military? Um, no, no. Um, I, I pretty much grew up in Ohio. Um, I came back to Georgia. And so you're not officially a military brat. No, no, not not at all. I, I was in Ohio all the time, so well, I'm trying to keep uh, a straight face. Some, right some, some of the coolest people in the world are military brats. 
I would say. But I also do like people from Ohio. Well, what, what is that? Are you saying I'm not a cool person? No, no, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> right. You're not a cool person. I was, gonna, I was mistaking you, no, I got you. for a military person. I got you. Because you are that cool that I thought. Thank you. Thank you. you I, probably I appreciate it. What yeah. is a show without a bunny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it's we not have, a show? That's so what what's I the think. second beer, by the way? What's the second beer? Uh, I believe it has LSD in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want it. Right, right now, <laughs> there's a <laughs> giant <laughs> white <laughs> rabbit. I don't see a rabbit. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. This makes a lot of sense right now. Come on. I'm just saying. Yeah. You don't acknowledge the bunny. The bunny will not acknowledge you. It's much like dogs. Did you notice when I picked up that dog, uh, what was his name, Smiley? Smiley, yeah. When I picked up Smiley, I did not make eye contact with Smiley. <laughs> and while I did kiss its little head. You hoped for the best. And let it lick my face, yes. <laughs> You're like, Smiley, please don't kill me. I actually <laughs> kind of hoped that Smiley would bite me. Because if Smiley would have bit me, Viral. Be cool. That would have made Million the best hits. Yep. Uh, oh. Smiley would never have gotten adopted, probably been euthanized. <laughs> yeah. But oh. that would have made for a cool ah. show. No, no. no. Smiley's no. so cute. This is real naughty. Real Naughty is our IPA. Uh, this was one of the recipes that came before me, um, and so it's one of the, the flagship recipes. Okay, okay. A lot of mosaic, a little bit of uh, Columbus in there. I'm usually not an IPA fan at all, but I'm, this is like smooth. I like Seven percent alcohol by volume. Seven? Seven, yeah. Uh, this Seven. could get me in trouble too. too. Yeah. yeah. Sweet yeah. spot. All right. Spot. Oh, I like this actually. You get that uh, nice kind of citrus notes at the back end. That's the mosaic hops from there. I think it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit more a West Coast style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And me too. I like it. Well, mosaic. You know, we got a lot of mosaic in this beer. Um, yeah, that's, that's really, really good. Really. Uh, now it's not really brewed with it. It, it. It's brewed with it, but then we also dry hop it a lot. We do a lot of dry hopping. Yeah. yeah. So what does dry hopping do? Uh, dry hopping is just going to add the aromatics of the hops. So dry hopping is going to be taking dry hops and putting them in beer. <laughs> As opposed to non-dry hops? Like, no. That's also what Wait, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, As opposed to... So, Boiling. So, well, Always uh, talk. Let me explain. Like, let me, <laughs> Curtis, stop me when I'm, when I'm saying something wrong. Okay. So Johnny, Johnny explained to me one day, he's like, making beer is as easy as making coffee. You basically you're running the water through the through the through the grains or whatever through the hops and stuff, and then you get what is called wort. Wort. So wort then goes into the boil. So what you're saying is, in the boil, you're just throwing in dry hops. No, no, no because then those hops those are close. those those hops go through the isomer isomerization process where the she alpha knows, she acids. Knows what you're talking about. She's over here like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know all this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, so the alpha acids are then isomerized within the actual wort, which then takes the bitterness and... So you add dry hops to the wort? No. Later. <laughs> Where do you add right. the dry hops? Curtis, Curtis. Curtis. Dry hops? After, after the boiling process is done and you've oh. cooled it down and you've added yeast... What is in the fermenter? In the Ooh. fermenter. Oh, nice because flavor. now we're adding dry hops that just kind of sit there. They, there's no there's no chemical processes done. Yeah. There's... There's That's no more for aroma though too. It's, like, right? more, it's, like an it's more aroma. Like sprinkle, yeah. like yes. Like, mm -hmm. like making tea because in tea you yeah. take the dry the tea leaves in a bag and you put them in there and you tea bag the beer. <laughs> like Halo. Basically, yeah. You're tea bagging the beer with hops. <laughs> But there's no there's no but chemical there's no processes bag. going on because the the temperature is it's neutral yeah. and so we're we're down at you know 65 68 degrees Fahrenheit and so the the chemical process is not taking place where those alpha acids that actually you taste that bitterness that right. that you feel in your mouth that's no longer taking taking place. How are you affecting the beer by adding the dry hops to it? Like what's coming out of the You're, you're going to get more of those very aromatic mm -hmm. aromas. When you smell the, it. The stuff that would yeah. normally boil off is now staying. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we put it in the boil, that, that aromatic, that, that floral note yeah. boils off. It's, it's um, easily boiled away and you're left with bitterness. Dry hopping doesn't affect the... Bitterness. The ABV. IB, okay. IBUs. Or IBUs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it affect the alcohol content? No. No. Oh, and, but, but, and it does I mean, if you added enough dry hops, you do have okay, more volume. Yeah. yeah, you could potentially affect it. Potential. But just because you're adding more volume uh -huh. to the liquid. So, so ma ma mainly it's just for flavor? Or aromatics, aromatics. Aromatics. Aromatics and, and flavor, yes. Oh, and so now you're actually getting the actual floral aroma of the hops. Yeah. Versus Learned something new here, folks. So that was delicious. Ooh. And the second beer was delicious. Very good. Didn't we have a third? Was we a do. Third one? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Now the party's going to get started. Spaghetti Monster. Church of the Spaghetti Monster. Yes! 
Yeah. Yes. Not that I want to just like, put your ID up to the camera, but I also do. Oh, I don't know if anybody can see that. But I hope you can. It's amazing. So awesome. Church of the What are we looking at? Monster. All right, let me see That's this. I gotta religion. see this. This is called religion. Any religion. <laughs> this is called religion. This is called so, religion. I'm gonna religious freedom. Yes. So I was super excited about this show because not only we're gonna have Naughty Monk, which is an amazing brewery that's local, and these guys are cool. Tyler's really cool. Kurt's cool. Good, good people. Um, so aside from the fact that it was just gonna be a very good beer and sunshine show, while we were there at Naughty Monk, uh, I, I was informed that Tyler is. Curtis. Well, sorry. I'm, I'm Tyler. That's he's Tyler. You're no. Kurt. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's getting to that point in the night where he's just yeah. everyone is the same person. Yeah, well, it's a beer talk. Bob. Yeah, know? it's yeah. So I was informed that that he is part of something that I thought is one of the most hysterical things I've ever heard in my entire life. I've jumped ship, guys. I'm now <laughs> part <laughs> of the uh, Come on. of the flying spaghetti monster. I'm a pastafarian. Pastafarian. Yes. pastafarian. And you don't need dreadlocks uh, to be a pastafarian, which is amazing. All you need is a colander. We well, don't even need that. Now, I mean, and now, yeah. now, we, now we hand the microphone to Curtis. Well, you know, not really, but you know. How about this? How about let's drink Ramon. This, this is the naughty Mike blonde. Naughty yeah, this blonde. is our flagship. This is a girl yep. we were gonna meet later. So this is the uh, Belgian blonde. Uh, it's an ale brewed with orange and coriander, or beer brewed with orange and coriander. We're not yeah, sure we're not what TTB sure is we'll going to approve yet. Says. Yes, <laughs> on the label that I'm trying to get some <laughs> approved. This is our our flagship. This would be you go to almost any restaurant that serves naughty oh, monk. Mm, it's going to have awesome. the naughty blonde. Yeah, yeah. Six percent ABV. Six percent. Six. Yeah, six. Wow. Just. Yeah, yeah. all of our beers you, will get you in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm time. thinking all of these mm -hmm. are probably going to be. And they're all beach beer. Work. Good too. You guys are good to me. This oh my is good. Gosh. This is one of my favorites. Real thing. naughty, real real naughty is my favorite guy. Like I said earlier, I am a hop head. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And then I, I either go, I usually go to the blonde. And that's Belgian. That. That's Belgian style. You can taste it. That's this one, yes. Belgian yes. Hops yes. In there for sure. This is my favorite. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who names all the beers? Um, the original Depends. ones yeah. are, were already there. Some of them we'll put up for a vote amongst the employees. Real yeah. naughty was named with a vote. From uh, from uh, different, they were actually named. We did a customer contest for the name of the beer, yeah. and uh, real naughty. That's how we came up with the name real naughty for our uh, Mosaic Top IPA. I do that's have one. one. Labels, so. A lot of the names that if we can't get to a vote, or we can't get the owners that already picked it, then I'll pick something. So like our pumpkin spice latte, hashtag basic. The whole point of the show is not really to talk about Naughty Monk or the beer, it's to talk about the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. All right. <laughs> if, you would, if you would please, if you would please, let please, the good sir, people enlighten us. Let the good people know. Yeah, so I was working at a, a Pizza Hut, and I got a text message one night saying, "Shave your beard or don't come in tomorrow." <laughs> Rude. From a random number I didn't know, I was like. Pfft. Whatever. First off, who are you? Second off, no. And I ignored it. Yeah. I went into work the next morning. I was a delivery driver. It's not like I'm cooking pizza or anything like that. Everything's all prepackaged in a bag. I worked my whole shift waiting for someone to have the balls to come up to me and say, shave your beard. I worked my whole shift. No one said anything. I, I went home. I got another text message. Didn't you get my message yesterday? Yeah, I did, but I don't know who you are, and I'm not shaving my beard. Like... <laughs> And then, for you. What is this? Like, you, you don't text me out of the blue and say, shave your beard. Like, yeah. No, I've had my beard longer than I've known you. I don't even know you. <laughs> well, this is this is your manager at Pizza Hut. I said, okay, I'll be in tomorrow with my uniform. So I brought in my uniform. I brought in my final notice saying, as per Utah code this, you're firing me, so you have 24 hours to give me my paycheck. Well, we're not firing you. All right, but then I'll work. Told me. <laughs> well, you can't work unless you shave. Well, I'm not shaving, so we're kind of at an impasse here. I said, okay, it's against my religion. <laughs> what religion is that? Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Just totally pulled it out of my ass. I've heard of it. I've seen it. I, I knew it existed. I had no idea that there was anything to do with beards. And she said, all right, well, then we'll need proof that you're, of the, you're in the religion and proof that that religion says beer all right see you tomorrow <laughs> went home got on the internet fuck, fuck, fuck. 
to do. <laughs> sure enough, there was a, a, a page where you could become an ordained minister. So I am an officially ordained minister of the Church of the <laughs> Fine Spaghetti can Monster. Marry you. I young. can perform weddings. I need to be I need to be in I need to be in full pirate regalia. Full pirate regalia. Pirate. Arr. 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 <laughs> because pirates, um, the, the decline in pirates is obviously the reason that global warming has gone up. Clearly. If, if you look at the number of pirates and you look at the, the global temperature, yeah. as number of pirates <laughs> drop, global the other, the other correlation <laughs> equals I causation. Yes. I mean, it's, 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 yeah. yeah, not flawed at all. Science. You're, a scientist. Science. You're a scientist. Science. You know. The biologist approves. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Pastafarians, they, they believe that heaven yeah. is a beer volcano next to a stripper so. factory. Oh yes. my god, that sounds like such an exciting time. Yeah. Now, if you go to hell, the beer volcano, the beer is flat. And the strippers oh, no. Wait, the all... Wait, the beer is flat? Yes, if you go to hell. And the strippers all have STDs. Imagine that. That's hell. I, I mean, I don't feel like wasting my time, but I need to read more into this. Yeah. So how do I convert? Because I'm sold. You're in. 20 bucks, you're you can in. become ordained. I can marry people. Literally. If you're in full pirate regalia on a <laughs> ship that you have not, that you don't own. A ship that I don't own. So I if I commandeer a ship. Commandeer, yes. Okay, so full regalia. Push an old man off I can like marry. It's John John yes. very difficult so to do. If you know a friend with a boat, I just take it's it. It's not. It's not no, very no, difficult. Well, you just, you just, you just, just ask them if you can borrow it. Oh. No. You no, know, you tell them. <laughs> you <laughs> tell them. Here's a beer. Three Floyds. What's this one? All zombie right, so dust. It's, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, all right. It's well, zombie, yeah, dust. Yeah. Uh, people, zombie dust. People, eh, eh. Three Floyds is right. one of the most uh, Better than basic. Uh, well-respected breweries in the country, from what I can tell from my brewer friends here on the East Coast. Do we know the style of the beer? It's a pale ale. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I really liked this beer when I was just getting into craft beer. This is, It's a little older. You know, it's a little older beer. Not, not older as in, like, I mean, it's an older brewery. So, I mean, I've known about them for a long time. They, they don't distribute down here, so that's why this is a special treat. Oh, my God. It smells like everything good in the world. It does. It smells good. It's a good beer, too, in my opinion. Um, all right. You guys, about a year and a half ago, I didn't like beer at all. Oh, what? at all. Two years. Susie, my first get beer. out! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So this is, what are we tasting right now? This is the Yummy Yum. Yum. It's an American Session Some L. Floyds as well. Three Floyds, yes. It's not tomato soup. It was really good. Fantastic. It's <laughs> got to be under 4% because there's no ABV listed. No, it's, no, it's a session. No, no it's so it's, it's under 4%. Really? It has to be. Immediately, I would think it's how do you How do you not have the ABV on here and it was approved by teaching? Under 4%. Uh, Maltiness. Thing. It's very sweet. Yeah, but it's got that, that sweet. sweetness is left behind. It's a residual maltose it's sugars that, that the yeah, yeast that can't process. Off, like. The Dark Lord. Before we close, them, though, I love the seal on this. I know they can't see it, but I'll it's beautiful. Out of trash can. There's nothing more than hand the, 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 that artistry of having a beautiful hand dip. It is. It's beautiful. It's speckled. It's like waxed. Oh, that is really great. pretty. And they're famous. Like that. I think this is an experience. Aren't they? Aren't so? I think they're like. What are they called? Three Floyds. Three Floyds, oh, Indiana. It looks They're here. very well known for this beer. Like it's I'm going to need like a deal. splash. Beer. Yeah, I, I, I only want a little okay. bit of this one. Too. Oh, come on. I'm not good at this. Is, yeah, what this kind is of beer is this? 750. Oh, guys, come on. Who didn't like the dark oh. beer? Put your big girl panties on. <laughs> Russian style <laughs> Imperial. Imperial. Um, Imperial. Russian Imperial style. All right. I mean, I'll drink it, but you're the one that didn't like the dark beer I'm, until you. I, like this, I love. I welcome to the dark the side. Taste. We have but cookies. A full glass, I could we never have, have cookies. A full glass of a dark beer. Yeah, here, here's I'm the Cicerone over here. He'll, he'll deconstruct this beer no, for I'm us. No, I'm a certified beer server. So yeah, that's all in I the am. In the Cicerone too. program. <laughs> All right, let's see all what right, the Dark so Lord brings us. Let's cheers, let's cheers. cheers to this one. All right. I don't know cheers. anything about this cheers. one. Very I only know about this Russian beer. Imperial. Cheers, guys. I spilled Whoa. it on myself. That's, Nobody hey. saw that. That's no joke. <laughs> that is no a lot joke. of chocolate. A lot of chocolate in there. Oh yeah. So I'm looking like it's a hot mess smoky. here. All right. I'll probably. Okay. I'm gonna um, stop. I'm gonna stop rubbing myself. Smoke, on yeah. it. Almost like smoked meats. I'm glad we let it sit out because it warmed up a little bit too, and that kind of gives it's it that a, little. It's beautiful. It opens it up a little bit and gives you those extra flavors. When it's cold, you just taste cold, and then. 
the initial probably in this one it would be like a chocolate mm -hmm. or alcohol -y flavor when you let it open it up a little bit now now you catch hints of like fig and everything else. I mean, this is delicious yeah it's good i like it's my very meat. nice Quicker than going down. Are we doing this? Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Is this so much pressure? I can't find a timer on my phone. It is so much pressure. There will be a clear winner. It won't be me. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, okay. As a team. Alright. One, two, three. Are we clinking? Go, 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 go. Okay. What? I mean, I'm gonna stop what? now because clearly I am not a human. <laughs> was that full? No, it's okay. No, it's not real. I appreciate was yours full? Because you and me are not alcohol. It was so much <laughs> I barely even got like I just. Yeah, we're at the same level. Honestly, oh my god! I got this. this. Yes. I got, we don't. We don't got this. Oh, okay, I want the replay. It's you like, guys watch the, the right? podcast. Oh, you know you really watch the, content, the podcast. Right? Thank you, everyone, for watching. Click here to subscribe. Back later. Make sure you guys follow Naughty Monk on their yes, social yes. media. Please come to Naughty Monk. As yeah. well. We are here every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Good beer tastic day and believe in the power of beer. Cheers to beers, everybody. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.